Hi, Mega Class. I hope you are doing well. This is Lenra Biology. We want to look at complexity in um, life at cellular level. We just outlined that there's a problem with complexity. But it doesn't mean that life at the cellular level too should be ignored. How about unicellular? They both have their own advantages and disadvantages. Let's look at advantages of life at cellular level over complex level. Advantages of advantages of life in amoeba over that of rabbit. For instance. One. Unicellular level requires less food material, as we have asked you first. If you have to feed amoeba and a rabbit. So if a amoeba likes kinky, and even one ball is uh, too much for thousand amoeba. But for rabbit, ah, you know. So less food material. It's not like the person is feeding the organism, but how organism will get the food from the environment. Exactly. Whether it's damaging the environment. Or if the organism will suffer. Why? Let's look at the reason. Because which of these two need more material to form a protoplasm? This one needs less. The other one needs more. Okay, so the reason is that this one, less food material is needed. We are not comparing the two per se, but we are looking at advantages of this over this. So let's lay emphasis on this one. One advantage is that less food requirement. The reason is that the body is not complex. It's less complex. So less material is needed as compared with size. As compared with size. What about the second? Let's look at the second advantage. Exchange of material can be made by diffusion only. It means we don't need circulatory system, respiratory system, excretory system. Honest diffusion will take care of that. I hope you know the reason. Because there's an increased surface area to volume ratio in a cellular organism. And what is the meaning? The cell is exposed to the environment. On both sides, on all sides. Let's look at the second reason why we are saying that exchange of material can be made by diffusion only. And you know, excretion is a result of metabolic waste. And metabolism is the activity that is taking place in the cells. Respiration, for instance, is metabolism. Photosynthesis is metabolism. Any product resulting from metabolism is metabolic product. If it's not useful, there's a metabolic waste. Since the whole organism is simple, it's simple in terms of structure, it means there is less metabolism. Even metabolic rate is low and so what? So we don't have a larger amount of excretory product that must be eliminated through maybe excretory system. That is why exchange of material across the cell membrane alone is enough. I hope it's clear. We are saying that unicellular organisms need less food material. Reason. Less material is needed. Reason. Less material is needed as compared with size. 
Second point. Second advantage. Why life at the level is advantageous. Exchange of material between the cell and the environment can be met with diffusion only. We know the any complex mechanism. First reason. The surface area to volume ratio is in encouraging. Second reason. There is a decreased metabolic rate so that we don't have so much waste to be eliminated. I hope you are okay. If you don't produce too much of waste in your school, you don't need a zoom lion waste management to come and convey. Your school is made up of 100 people. You don't need to come to your school every day. Complex system. Or that's the advantage point. Simple. It's not a complex mechanism. Let's look at the third advantage of life at the cellular level over complex. There's no need for a special organ for existence. Special organ for existence. Special organ for existence. Look at human made for instance, you have a problem with your leg. You cannot go to school again or office again if you have a leg, maybe amputated. That's a special organ. So you are not yourself again. Most cell organisms don't need those things. Simple. What is the reason? The reason is that the cell can perform all life activities. Yes. Can perform all life activities. So far as it's alive, it can do everything that most cell organisms can also do. Survive. Now, we have advantages of life at the cellular level. Less food material needed. Essential your material can be made by diffusion only. The organism don't need, the organisms don't need special organ to exist because that single cell can perform all life activities. Let's look at the disadvantages. Whether everything, whether all is well with the cell organism or they have some problems. They have problems. Assuming this is a unicellular organism. Amoeba, Amoeba borrows money from you before breakfast. By lunchtime, this Amoeba has divided. That's how it reproduces, by binary fission. Remember characteristics of living thing. It doesn't exist again. The parent cell does not exist again after reproduction. It leads to disintegration of the original individual. So Amoeba doesn't have a mother. Your mother divided into two of you. So take care of yourself. Just for your understanding. The another disadvantage is that unicellular organisms cannot live in different habitats. They can't live in different habitats. Because the individual is not specialized to adapt to different conditions. Human being is complex. Fowl is complex. It can run with its leg or decide to fly. If you are chasing it, it can fly. Human being can decide to move with the hands. Maybe in a forest, if you are running away from enemies. Some people can even move with their buttock. Can walk their, they, they can move their buttocks. Different path. At any time you adapt. Because you have a lot of organ that can solve a problem for you. Unicellular organisms don't have that. 
What about if this part of the, this is the nucleus, this is a mitochondria. What about if the whole of this is damaged? How about if the whole nucleus is damaged? Can it exist again? No. So the whole organism is affected. Or the whole individual is affected when part of the cell is affected. I hope this is a, against this point. It's not common for cellular organism. So life at, at a cellular level has advantages. One, less for requirement, reason, less material needed. Two, exchange of materials between the organism and the environment can be made by diffusion only on the line. Can be made by diffusion only reason. Because of large surface area to volume ratio. Another reason. Rate of metabolism is low. So less excreted product form to be eliminated. Or less material needed for metabolism to take place. The third advantage. It doesn't need specialized organ to exist. Why? The cell alone is a jack of all trade. It can perform all life activities. Even though we are talking about advantages, advantages, some people would have loved to be at would have loved to be at unicellular level so that they enjoy all these benefits. But there are some problems. When the cell is damaged, that's the end of the organism. The second point, the cell cannot easily adapt to different environmental conditions because it is not specialized for anything, just for in everything that is normal with it. That the more it changes, it cannot adapt, it cannot adjust. So it cannot live in different habitats. The third point is that the moment the organism <laughs> reproduces, that is the end of it. I don't know if it will be a problem for you, the way you look at it. Thank you for watching Learn Biology. Join me in the next lesson where we also look at advantages of complexity or life at complex level and also discuss if there are some disadvantages at all. Thank you.